let's game it out. We're checking out Enshrouded and today. Shrouded. And yes, I see this message right here. Your GPU driver is outdated. Please update for an ideal game experience. Yeah, we could do that. Or I could just hit or play. Or we can just oh ignore boy, that. Oh character creator time. <laughs> Which one of these short kings and queens do we want to play as? We're going to start with this guy because I'm going to keep the dream alive that we can look this good when we're his age. <laughs> now, let's see. Which one of these hairstyles screams midlife crisis the hardest? I'm tempted to go with this one or oh even maybe goodness. this one. But I think we all know we're going with this one. That's not even midlife crisis. That's but just looking good. Yeah, he is rocking it. What the fuck? have that many color options. So I guess pure white it is. And if you're going to give us beard options, of course I'm going to choose the kind of overgrown gross mustache. Who wants to see that top lip? I don't. And for their character name. Those look. mustaches always remind me of like sea anemones. Because like, it's like those little things that just leach food. Like when you eat it, just they just they just like leach the food. You know, like a sea anemone. Sea anemones. Lord Mustache Vaughn Suffering. Oh, that doesn't fit. Oh. Lord Mustache it is. So our journey begins with us waking up in this weird little chamber, at which point we can gleefully escape. And here we are on Planet Enshrouded. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's not actually what it's called. It's just what I'm going to call it. See this guy over here? They wanted to learn the real lore of this game, like what the <laughs> world name is. And the lore was just too deep. And no thank you. We're already too old. We're not going to let that happen to us or our abs. Ugh. We can read their book, though. <laughs> See, Ew. what did I tell you? It's a bunch of lore. Quick, run. Run as fast as you can. Don't let anything stop uh you. Oh, except maybe death. Well, I guess now we get to see what happens when you die. Oh, okay, we just come back to life. Well, thank goodness for that. Anyway, as I was saying, welcome to the world of Enshrouded, a game where I don't learn my lesson the first time and we see if we can jump down here without dying. But I feel like if we hit this just right, we can land on, like, the side of a slope or something and survive. Oh, or not. Okay, you know what? I'm pretty sure what the game wants me to do is go into that cave there and then pop out right there. Ah, uh, yeah, see, there you go. Did you see that little thing fly over there and light up that lantern? Pretty sure that's yep. the tutorial telling me this is the right way to go, the which means we won't be body. doing that at all. Instead, we're going to try and see if we can find an alternate way around. Like, I bet <laughs> if we just go over here, hop on over here to this little spot, and then jump on this, ow, and then we'll just slide on down this, and we're home free. We did it. There we go. Made it down without taking that structure over there. And look at that. I've made some friends. I'm sure if I just keep running, everything's going to turn out. Why does this man okay. look so majestic, Oh, my though. goodness, and it has. They've left me behind. Okay, so first things first. You see how there's, like, a camp here? We got to do something like that. I mean, not just like this. This isn't our camp, nor do I want it to be. I mean, after all, I was going to steal their things, but ugh, it's more lore <laughs> than it wants me to read. It's my ugh. personal kryptonite. Quick, run from it as fast as we can. Anyways, we can see this used to be what looks like a town, which is fine by me because they're not going to need these wood supplies anymore, and I certainly will, not to mention these barrels that are just in my way and just apparently punching. are hiding the most sacred of <laughs> treasures. Churning butter. Just kidding. That's not for us. Take that. All right, let's see what this treasure chest has for us. Oh, good. Items it. for killing. <laughs> anyway, we're just going to run around and ransack this place. And I could be concerned that there's a fire still lit, indicating that there's probably somebody still around. But why would I worry when I can just punch the campfire to death? <laughs> oh, wow. And nature immediately reasserted itself. Whoa. And no lore, I won't read you. But no I won't break fire the table ball, I can't break this, can I? Oh, well. There you go. And now that we've broken down everything, Don't not he nailed like, down, what the like heck those... is this? Oh, what whoa, is he whoa, called? Whoa, whoa. Turns out there's some bad guys in this game that Come really want a piece me? of us. That's okay. We can punch them, too. You just too. killed yeah. everything and in, like, three hits. And that's when I noticed hits. that weird cloud we walked into. I think that means we're in the shroud or the enshrouded or it's enshrouded or I'm enshrouded. Whatever. Something is enshrouded. That's what matters most. And it looks like <laughs> this is where some of the bad guys live and give us stuff like shroud <laughs> spores. Master. A strange I'll, kind of I'll energy. Know. You know what I mean. unstable for now, but perhaps it can be refined. And that's great and all, but I'd rather refine this right now. A rusty short sword. Anyway, as you can see, we can only yeah, spend a certain Brilsley. amount of time in the shroud. What and it's even kind enough to remind us to leave. Brilsley, but of course right? we're not going to. <laughs> and instead we're just going to wait and see what happens. Uh oh. 
Oh yeah, see, there you go. It's the shroud and it's consumed us. Your shroud protection depleted. Remember to let it recover outside of the shroud. I'm sorry that I wasn't she paying close enough eaten. attention to my shroud refractory period. So yeah, it sounds like we should definitely limit our time in the shroud. Although something's yes, telling sir. me that at some points we'll have to go through it. Call it a hunch. Anyway, the next <laughs> order of business is we need to find a nice I place to feel set that up way. And I think I see the perfect spot over there somewhere. So I know I just said the thing about not going through the shroud, but we're gonna go through the shroud. <laughs> After all, we've got five minutes. Oh, yeah, and all I need to do is just run by the bad guys. Here, right? And just like that, we're through the shroud. And look at all this beautiful space for setting up a base. I don't know about you, but this nice shaded area seems good to me. As soon as we clear out some of the riffraff, like this wolf that appears to be barking at a tree. Well, so be it. Sorry, this is my land now. The tree. I'm sure it He's understands. keeping us safe. Yeah, that's the spirit. Thank you for no, the blessing. Okay, nuts. so in order to get started, we need to go to crafting. Here's the basic setup. We need these essentials. A flame altar, a workbench, and a construction hammer. And you'll notice they're all highlighted red. Because <laughs> if we click on them... Oh, but of course, we don't have the required stone. Or in the case of this workbench, we need wood logs and string. Well, we know what it's time for then. The collectathon. Give me this for twigs and plant fiber. The which, after grabbing enough of it, allows us to make string out of the plant fiber. Great. Yippee! And the resource collection like continues. Minecraft. Stone, of course, we can get out of regular stone like this after punching it a bunch. And the stone just kind of falls right <laughs> off it. What a deal. It made a baby. Oh boy, a recipe you unlocked. scared it. Strike that. Multiple recipes unlocked. Like the ability to build an axe, which of course is for cutting it's trees. It's like here. Or Please take my bloodline. Leave for me cutting alone. Rocks. Well, don't look too upset about your new pickaxe. Get to mining. There, that's the good stuff. Oh, and Ooh. what a curious border we have now. What does this do? Oh, is this doing what I think it's doing? Am I carving oh, no. into the ground? Oh, no. I he has found a terraforming the tool. Well, this help. is just great. Oh boy, do I love me some terraforming. Any game that allows this really has my needs in mind. But let's not get too excited. We're not going to tear up the entire earth just yet. Because not only do we need stone, but we have to chop all these trees down first. Well, have to oh, is probably no. an overstatement. But there's always something a little satisfying about a little deforestation. And before you know it, this looks like this. What? See, that's much better. Look at all this detail we didn't even know was here. You know, like this rock we can see better and this little cliff side. Oh, and also this giant thing over here. Who could have known that was just sitting there hiding from us? Anyway, with all of that out of the way, hiding it's time to build our side. base. So first things first is we need to build that flame altar because as the description says, that's what lets us mark our home. So after a quick crafting of that, let's see, where are we going to place this thing? Now, it doesn't want to let me shove this inside this <laughs> hole, but something tells me it's more about me needing to clear space for it. So let's even out the space a little bit. Oh, okay, God. and there we go. I sure hope this is enough. I guess we're about to find out. Oh, yeah, there we go. Fits like a glove. And now the game wants <laughs> can you, me to commune Can you with build the around As it now? You do. Here, let me break this down for you. Blah, blah, story. Blah, blah, ancient vaults. Blah, blah, one beckons. Blah, blah, space bar. Oh, thank God it added a marker to my map. I love not having to remember anything. I did <laughs> notice something kind of silly, though. If you exit out of the game and then load back in, well, wouldn't you know it, all of the trees are back. Wow, how lucky am I? Oh, a whole boy. forest to cut down again. Well, now that has me wondering something. If I just go back over here and chop down one of these trees. And then I go back into the menu, and I go over to the thingamabob, and then I hit play again, and then we load back into the game. Oh, uh, yes, there it is. Our magical tree friend is back. <laughs> oh, I think I know what might be happening here. So if we switch to our pickaxe, this border appears on the ground, which mm -hmm. as we know from placing our flame thingy, that this mm -hmm. border indicates the edge of our base. So I'm willing to bet if we make a hole right here, and then if we also make a hole right here, I'm going to assume that when we reload our mm -hmm. game, one of these is going to be here and one isn't. Okay, mm -hmm. well, there you go, mystery solved. It looks like the only stuff with permanence is the stuff inside of our borders. So wait, what happens with something like this? <laughs> where some of it's inside, but some of it isn't. Let's just hammer the whole thing down and see what happens. Yeah, there we go. A little more like that. And definitely isn't like a gross eyesore now. Anyway, let's what? reload and see happen? what happens. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, and also, it looks like we can see the exact place where our base starts and stops. It's actually doing that? We no way! We can also see that there's like a ceiling above us. So it doesn't look like we can actually go that high in the air. Or presumably that low. I mean, I assume. We're about to find out and find the lower limits of our base. Yep, there's the line. That's how far down we can yep. go, which goes down pretty far, by the way. How far, you might wonder? Oh, pretty far. See, there's the fire thingy, oh and here is the hollowed-out husk of the lower limits of our base. <laughs> now, I didn't dig it all up, but you can see that the boundaries are ever-present. But I gotta hand it to our little flame thingy. It does certainly give us a lot of space to work with. And you're probably <laughs> wondering, how do we get back to the flame altar? Well, that's easy. We just take the death express 
press over to it. Ta-da! <laughs> Easy Death peasy. Express. And now if we ever have to do some communing, this is the way we can do it. Which I'm sure we will be doing from time to time. Because I see options like upgrading the altar and extending its building range. As Ooh. well as strengthening <gasps> the flames. Also which gives us fun benefits like how many altars we can have active. As well as, I guess, different kinds of shrouds we can go through. How long we can spend in the shroud. And then whatever this fourth thing is. I'm already tired of reading. And then all we have to do is find this random stuff. And then when we're done being intimate with the flame, you might next wonder how do we get down. Also easy. Minecraft must keep inventory oh, wait, maybe on. not so easy. <laughs> well, surely there's a spot nearby that we can hit that won't kill us. Somewhere. Okay, plan B. First, we're going to access the altar, locked. and then we're going to extinguish this flame. Extinguishing the flame will reset the currently protected uh -oh. area after some time, or with the next start of the game. That's the plan. And now we'll have ourselves another leap of faith of a certain kind. Okay, now we're back at the beginning. And oh now all we need to do is just run all the way back to where we were. It couldn't be more simple. After all, it's just a haunted it jaunt away. It couldn't be okay, more simple. Okay, here we are again. It just oh, takes like three in-game days. Nature is trying to reassert itself. I don't know why I thought the flame what? altar would still be there in the middle, but whatever. It's not like we can't just place <laughs> another one somewhere. In fact, let's make it what weird. For now, we'll just there? put one right here, which of course is going to alter the boundaries of our base now, which only extends that far. Actually, you know what? I bet we can make this work. I bet we can get it back into the center there. All we're gonna need now is our construction hammer. Can only be used within the range of a flame altar. Works for me. Okay, now that we have our wild glowing hammer, it's time to go into our wild glowing build mode. Look at all this fun stuff we can build. Walls oh and shapes and roofs oh and no. stairs and windows That's and whatever. That's too much for Although him. Right now, I'm just give interested him a in this. Power. Making a single wall block, which let us just go ahead and place one right here. Oh. Missing materials. Craft blocks at the workbench. Okay, if you blocks. say so, we'll go ahead and do that, I guess. Which, let's see, where can we place this that is the most weird looking? Maybe up against this rock will do. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's exactly how we want <laughs> our workbench. I hate this man Now we can so make much. blocks. Like these rough Why is stone he doing blocks. this to me? So let's go ahead and craft some. Okay, much better. Here we go. Okay, so we placed one, and we're going to place another. And then we're going to jump on this and place another and another. Actually, wait, what am I doing? That's exactly what this other stuff is for. Let's see. Let's find a building piece that really speaks to us. Yeah, here we go. This terrain tool for making a little puck. Excellent. And I can just put this anywhere I want. That's much better. Look at that. Now I can just jump on this and then make another one and just keep doing this all the way to the center. Just got to expand the area a little bit more. There we go. Flame altar number two ready to go. Now we can go back over here to the first one and disable it. Give it a quick extinguish. Stare straight into its eyes until it evaprates right in front of you. And now that we've got that squared away, let's get to making our base. Again. Down there in all that beauty. Of course, we're older and wiser now, and we know if we just jump off, we'll die. Good thing we can make crappy stairs to take care of this. Let's see, we'll take this, and we'll just rotate it like that, and okay, shove it into the earth, normal. and then take another one and do the same. No, Whoops. I, uh, ah, well, it still works. Uh, That's all that matters. And then we'll just place another one, uh, and another one, and so on and so forth. What a master class of architecture. It looks and like a waffle. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> why do stairs look tasty? Now I want the waffle. Look at that perfectly nice waffle. Waffles for some reason. Okay, so now oh, that no, we're no. down here, let's get the basics set up. And for that, we're going to start with looks a like workbench, a waffle. which we're going to place in a weird it. way just like that. Yeah. Right, you know no, what, I want the actually? Waffle. Why stick with one? After all, it looks like I'm going to be using it. this like, thing quite a bit. Like so why not build a couple more of these mm. so I never have to go far to nice access one? one. And let's see, one right there. Yeah, here we go. A little more like this. Finally, I won't have to go far to use a workbench. There's always going to be one conveniently in my grasp. And now that we got that little problem out of the way, let's go ahead. Why does this... <laughs> you know, maybe he should just design horror games. Does this not look like when you play a horror game and you open that one forbidden door and you're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck am I looking at? This is like horror game material. Just change the lighting a little bit, the atmosphere, and boom, you have like an om nom 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 little crazy looking... Uncanny Valley gaming room. Uh, not gaming room. What am I saying? Game in like a horror game. Right? It would work. This is like horror game aesthetic. Do you ever wonder what his gaming room looks like? Like just, just his life. Like if this is what he does as enjoyment, what does his life look like? <laughs> Imagine he has a child, right? And he packs like a lunchbox, but it's like, okay, but what if I just put the lunch just loosely into your backpack? 
And like, what if I put this like very squishy cake just like into the side of your backpack so it just like squelches out? Or what if inside the lunchbox I only pour like water in there? <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck <laughs> sandwich with no bag but he makes a sandwich for the little guy he's just like anyway you're gonna have to assemble the sandwich yourself though i'm gonna make sure the ba baloney hangs outside your lunch box and just gets like cut off weirdly I I put the mayonnaise in between the textbooks, so you just have to scrape it off. Then <laughs> you will be a fucking menace, bro. I had an access literally any of these. Now let's see what other kinds of stuff we can make. Ooh, the bread beds, is like fireplaces, <laughs> illumination, doors. Full we love those. Yes, please give me a couple of these. Ooh, and building those unlocked new recipes. Now we can do stuff like bowls and cups. I see we can really Balls. decorate our home or whatever we want to call this. I'm just glad we have options. Oh, and we should probably establish a fence around everything, right? We don't want to accidentally keep falling into our home chasm, do we? Oh, what a phenomenal job I'm already doing. Oh. Everything is already so even and lovely. Look, it's all for show anyway. Who cares? Uh-oh, we can't actually build over there. Oh, well, I guess this side just doesn't get a fence. And actually, neither does this side. That's fine. The only thing that's actually gonna matter is this. The front door. Ah, look at that. Home sweet home. Ah, yes. Just a hop, Beautiful. skip, and a stumble down here, and we're back into the world of desks. And what home is complete without a nice, comfy, crude mattress? <laughs> and I don't know about you, but I love to be sleeping on a mattress on a near 45-degree <laughs> incline. Sleeping on the downhill slope so that all the blood rushes to my head. <laughs> See, look at this. If this isn't comfort, <laughs> I don't know what is. Okay, but enough screwing around. We clearly have a mission to do called finding the sleeping survivor, which I'm assuming is this chesty fellow right here. Find the sleeping survivor <laughs> marked on your map. You will have to venture through the shroud. Okay, so let's see. This is us, and I guess this is where we need to go. No problem. I'm sure we're ready. Oh, and can't forget to lock up. Bye, home. We'll see you soon. And now to let my brain don't go on full autopilot until we get to the marker. Completely ignoring every landmark to that's death. probably interesting. And instead, we're just gonna desks. walk right into this, which I'm sure is very friendly. Pardon me, everybody. Coming through. Okay, we're here. <laughs> hey, bad guys, can you just hold on a quick second? Okay, well, if you just won't do that, minute, I'm just gonna man. lead you back to my base. Have Let's go. Patience. That's the spirit. Come this way. Now, just follow me into the woods. Hold on, I gotta unlock the door real quick. Come on in. My home is your home. Okay, it looks like I got him to fall down, and now they're all surprisingly docile just staring at walls over here. Okay, where was I? Ah, how nice it is to come in here and be able to wander he around completely them, no unhindered. Way. Okay, let's see, what do we got? Oh, God, more reading. Can I just not do that? Well, the piece of paper's gone, so let's go with yes. And I tried to get rid of the rest of the evidence, but it doesn't seem to want to break. Something tells me we need to go to the big glowy thingy. Hello, what do we have here? Hello? Hello? No, I guess we did it. You retrieved a survivor. Place them in your home with a summoning staff. Well, that was easy. Oh, okay, no. and back here at the homestead, I Are guess we need there? to make like a summoning wand or something. Oh, and how nice. The bad guys showed oh. themselves out. Oh, there it is. Just sitting there waiting for me. Well, that's convenient. I love it. I wish every wand in every game looked kind of like a spaceship. Okay, let's see. How do we use this thing? <laughs> Tab to ready the summoning it staff. Like oh, I see we like can actually just summon ladle. them. Well, had I known we were going to have guests, I would have cleaned up a little bit. Don't worry, buddy. We'll make you a nice little room. Although I like that until I do. I just have an entire man on my quick bar. Okay, so let's just go ahead and pick up this table. Just, Don't you worry, buddy. I'm gonna build you something by hand. Just, yeah, there we go. A, a nice little room quick that quick is definitely bar. not just a nice little prison. Okay, buddy, you ready for your new home? Your palace of misery and suffering? Here you go. Well, he seems nice. What? Whoa, whoa, what is this? I didn't bring you back here to talk to me. And I don't think I need you to help me prepare. I mean, look at me and my no armor <laughs> or clothes. All right, fine. Let's see what he has to say. Except for the part where I actually can't talk to him. Well, I forgot to make myself a door, so I guess I'll make a doorway now. Hello, where were we? Hey! Yeah, I already got that part. Okay, so I guess this opens up new crafting menus. We can do stuff like make a forge to open up even more stuff. And yeah, there's resources and new options for other stuff. But obviously, I'm most excited about these dishes. Finally, dishes? I can feel domesticated with no! all metal interior designing. Well, I'm so glad I rescued you. Oh Hope you're God. comfortable because I'm covering you back up. I'll leave one square open so you can look at me pathetically. Okay, let's go out and... Oh, you got more to say? What do you want now? I think it's about time you face your fears and clear the shroud out of one of them elixir wells. 
Jesus. What did I just say about conversing with me? All right, fine. <laughs> hold on. Let me get back in there so I can talk to you. I'm just too lazy to break down the wall again, so I'm just going to make a thing out of these things. Okay, what here. Here I am again. <laughs> what do you want? Okay, he really likes to chat, but so I'll just give you the highlights. Now? Seek the elixir well. Raise the root. Set this evil ablaze. I'm counting on you. I'm so sorry you thought that was a good idea. Thanks for your <laughs> TED talk. I'll be leaving now. Okay, so once again, this is us right here. And it looks like it wants us to go to this area right here. So this thing called the elixir well. Well, sounds good to me. I feel like we're ready for this adventure. No armor, no weapons, no problem. And this looks like he it's gonna be fun. The Unsurprisingly, the it's down there in the shroud. But before we do, I'm kind of curious to something. Can I break these things? I don't know what other purpose they serve. Surely if I hit it enough, something will happen, right? Oh, well, <laughs> there you go. I'm sure it was here for thousands of years, but, well, we happened. <laughs> anyway, off to adventure. And once again, we got to make sure to be quick about it because we have a limited amount of time in the shroud. Stopping, of course, to waste our time and beat up these things. <laughs> anyway, onward to the elixir well. Hi there, pardon me. Yeah, just coming through. Oh, and look, it's just my luck. Chat. There's a return beacon understand. here. It's not only replenished our shroud That's timer thingy, do. but if we die, it'll respawn <laughs> us there. Don't follow me, okay, bad guys? <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm glad we have an agreement. Oh, my goodness, this looks so mysterious. Mysterious. Oh, and you know what? Something tells me that is important. Uh -oh. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> you said you wouldn't follow me. That'll teach you, I guess. Hello? Hello? Who's this guy just chilling out over here? Oh, crap. Oh, I see he has a name. It's Fell Thunderbrute. What a stud. So this guy what clearly wants to kill us. Can't imagine why. But I think I have an idea how to take care of him. So here's what I'm learning. You see the ground we're on right now? If I try to hit it with our pickaxe, it doesn't appear to do anything. But over here, this looks to be dirt. And this I can affect. And I'm sure you can see where this is going. Going, right? I bet we don't have to deal with this guy at all if he can't find us. So let's see if we can get to that thing by just going under him. We are still, of course, going to have to contend with this timer here. But that's okay. We just die. And then we just reappear back up here just and everything is die. just don't fine. Worry. And resume what we were doing. <laughs> okay, where were we? Okay, I think we're getting closer. I got a good feeling about this. Oh, uh, yeah, there it is. Still not close enough, though. It's right there. And he's... Oh, no. It's oh, not boy. an exact science, but it's close enough. Okay, fingers crossed. This feels much better. Oh, yeah, there it is. Is right above us. And now let's see if we can get to it without being detected. And we'll just break a little space right underneath it and then sneak down in here. Uh oh, somebody's mad. Mr. Thunderbrute <laughs> is up there trying to hit me. And I keep seeing the thing above me shaking like jello every time he hits it, which makes me wonder is he doing damage to the thing he's trying to protect? I guess we could just wait this out and see. Maybe he'll take care of this problem for me. Okay, I've been watching him wail on this thing for a while now. And I think it's probably the case that he's not doing any damage. That's fine. We'll just do the hard work for him. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be great and isn't going to take any time. <laughs> Ow! By that, I mean I got to be really careful. Oh, thank you for the comfortable deathbed. Ah, okay, uh, yes. where was I? What and were those? Again, and again. Finally, found an Our angle where he's not going to attack me. And give it a final whack and, well... That's that. Oh, and he looks pretty bummed out, too. Okay, well, thanks. I'll be leaving now. No, don't it's worry. Like, how dare you fix this place well, up and make easy. it look nice? All of our battles are just that harrowing. Hey, jail guy, I'm back. And then he says to me, stop your procrastinating. Climb that ancient spire in the distance to reveal important landmarks. What do you mean, this thing? Well, okay. <laughs> Let's see who we got. What do you think we're going to find mean inside? The big Amazing um, riches? Um, or, thing? oh, just a teleport pad. Okay, well, beam me up. Where are we going? Uh oh. <laughs> I sense puzzles. And that's exactly exactly what it is. Except I usually take this time to find all the antiques and break them. Look, if they didn't want me to break all the nice stuff, they shouldn't have left it lying around. Ooh, and a treasure chest, which I'm sure is filled with amazing riches. Like this wand that I'm not gonna take. Why take what? the items when we have the best treasure of them all? Destroying something with my fists. Yeah! <laughs> and it looks like this is the loot we're left with. Metal scraps. That's so much better Why than a weapon I can actually inside? use. And then the rest of this is like, ugh, puzzles. You see this glowing thing up here? Back at a workbench, we could craft a grappling hook and take care of this. But that feels like way too much work. I have a different idea in mind for how we can tackle this. Oh, I'm kind of no. curious if we can just build our way up to the top. So first already, things first, yep, can I put a flame altar around here? And it would appear thingy. that if we get too close to this thing, it tells us we cannot. How about a little farther away? Okay, there we go. I guess this is as close as we can build it. And now we've got some borders to where we can technically build. But just like the altar, we can't build any closer to the tower or else it gives us this message. Oh. That's fine. We can work with that. Because after all, we have a little thing called stairs. So here we go. And let's see how high we can go with... Oh, wow. The game already stopped me. It's probably because I hit the edge of where I can build. <laughs> Good thing we can just rotate and keep going. No, and two whole stop. stairways later, we're at the top of our boundary. So let's head back down to this thing and commute with the what's it called. 
called. And this is when we're finally going to upgrade our altar, which will double our building range. Ooh. But in order to do that, we need a shroud core. And I've come to realize I know just where to get one. Remember this guy? Yep. Turns out we actually have to kill him, <laughs> which don't worry. That shouldn't be too hard. I'm pretty sure all we need to do is get him stuck on something. And then he should be nice and trapped. Let's see. Okay. How are you looking, buddy? Can you get out of that? Oh, no. Too bad. <laughs> Guess we'll just have to punch you. Oh, he didn't like that at all, did he? And then after 10 I hate him years so much. Why does he always fight, make this well, work? the end of them. Wow, all of that hulking guy turned into this tiny pile of bones. Well, who am I to judge? And there we go. One shroud core. He was as pure well as muscle, his head for some reason. So we'll take those two things and that's it. Now we can go back over here and upgrade the altar. And there we go. And we can even upgrade it again if we want to. We just need to upgrade the flame to level two and get more shroud cores. Now five might seem like a lot, but I already have a solution for this. Turns out if you restart your game look what comes back <laughs> not just this look thing but the source back. of being able to get another core anytime we want we just gotta punch him and that's no problem for us and that's what makes it possible for us to get Ta -da, another shroud ba -ba. core and that's how i've been able to get a whole lot of what? cores and now to strengthen the flame because if we upgrade this we can put down four altars instead of two and all of this stuff should be pretty easy to get except for this spark thing but luckily i figured out where to get one of those two because if we're lucky this thing will talk to us and bestow upon us some amazing knowledge. Sparks lie scattered around the world in flame sanctums and flame shrines. And then they give me the location of one. All we need to do is go from here oh all boy. the way down to here. Oh Sounds boy. easy. Let's go. Okay, we're no here. Just Let's see. What do we got? Stand fast. It looks like we have enemies. And by that, I mean basic literacy. Be gone <laughs> with thee. Anyway, the thing we're looking for is in here. We've recovered one spark. Yippee! And with that, we're ready to go. Come here, altar. And with one little strengthening, we can place four altars at once. And that's as far as we're going to take the flame level for now. Because one of the items we need is this scavenger matron head, which I'm not really sure where to get. Meanwhile, over here, an upgrade altar. Now we can upgrade this altar all the way to level three. That's triple the building area. Yippee! Now we have so much extra room to play in. But eventually, we're still going to hit as high as just we can build go. Another one. That's where those extra altars are going to come in handy. Right. Because now we can just place another altar and then upgrade this <laughs> altar as well. Good thing we have so many shroud cores. Oh, and now no. this one also has a huge building area. Um, okay. Okay, where were we? Going higher and higher, that's what. And here's the great thing. When we reach the top again, like we have here, like, yeah, we're gonna place another altar, but we can start recycling them a little bit. So let's just go down here and extinguish this one. And now that this one is freed up, we can just head all the way back up and reuse it up here. And this is pretty what a much menace. how it goes. And then before you know it, we've built something beautiful. Honestly, probably a little too high. <laughs> Seeing as how the tower we're trying to reach is all the way down there now. And that's not the only but thing. We can see pretty much everything from but what up here. Now? How Who do you needs get there? out all the locations with your own eyes. Anyway, we still have one last dilemma, which is there's no way that we can jump and reach That's that. That's the glider. We have a solution for that too, which Never is mind. this thing right here. The glider. <laughs> and we used to travel great distances in an instant. Good. Just what we need. And now there's nothing we fear. That is, as soon as we deploy it, which we're gonna do right now. Oh my goodness, oh, look at us it go. Looks like the goodness is we don't squirrel. look silly at all. But even if we dive bomb, it's gonna save us from dying. Somehow we survive that instead of shattering our vertebrae. What I mean to say is this should be plenty for us to get up to that tower. So here goes nothing. Okay, Whee! easy. Easy. Okay, now it's time to dive bomb right into it. Yeehaw! Here we come. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, oh. Well, something tells um. me they didn't expect people to come all the way up here. Something about the whole thing having no collision. And look how beautiful all my garbage looks. What an eyesore. Okay, let's see if we can actually just get down one step further, which I think is right here. And we can come right up here and commune with another flame. Oh, boy. Oh, and I see. These open up fast travel points for us. And also Yippee. reveal stuff, I guess. Well, that's convenient. Now we got question marks all over the place. That's great. Well, we have our own way of surveying the land. Like, I don't understand why we can't just use this system for everything. Like, see that thing back there? Why walk when we can just build our way over there? Not even particularly nice looking either. We just need to get there. We don't need it to look pretty. <laughs> Oh, oh, we're making tired. great progress. And it's been so easy, too. You just run all the way to the closest flame, extinguish it, and then just head on over to the edge and establish another one. Easy peasy flame altar squeezy. Flame. Yeah, we're getting pretty close. It's probably about time we start thinking about our descent. Thank goodness we can build stairs downwards, as visually upsetting as this is. <laughs> Almost there. Coming in for a landing. And landing successful. Yippee! Thank goodness we're finally here. Oh, boy, I'm so excited. Look at these huge 
huge doors. What mysteries could this place possibly have for us? Well, there's no prompt to open the door, and I can't see a way in. Come on, can I please come in? <gasps> we can do damage, damage to the door. Well, if history has taught me anything, if I can take hit points off something, there's a chance I can break it. So let's see how this goes. No way. And we're in. Yeah, that didn't take any time at all. Let's go no see what our prize <laughs> is. Oh, certain death is what our prize is. And it looks like there's nothing to grab, as it turns out. Well, time for a consolation prize called Break Everything We Find. Hope you all had a nice dinner. Yeah, I'm looking at you. And also <laughs> you. Well, that was certainly worthy of our time. Quickly, back to the stairway. The we have so scene. many more adventures oh. ahead of us. <laughs> Uh-oh, and I totally forgot about something. I forgot that as soon as these things don't have a flame altar, structures begin to despawn, which means essentially our bridge is a one-way trip. To be fair, it did take a while. For that section down there to start disappearing, I was beating on that door over there for like 45 minutes, which was like two in-game days. I still have faith in my terrible bridge and its ability to take us anywhere we want to go. Like over there. Well, shall we? I think we shall. Okay, brace yourself. We're oh so close. Well, this seems close enough. Let's do this. And huh, and coming in for a big broken landing. Ah, we did great. And just drop off the side. Whoops. Not my finest landing. Ending, but it got us there. And just like that, we've skipped another bunch of puzzles. Yippee! Thank God. <laughs> and don't forget to break some of these priceless antiques while we're here. And it's not just for easily activating these towers and completely skipping over all the work the devs did to make them. <laughs> it's also great for other stuff. Like, you don't even have to worry about passing through the shroud because you can just go right over it. But we can also look just down at everything and be like, shroud. hey, you know what? That looks interesting. Why don't I go down and take a look? And then we can just aimlessly <laughs> sail all the way down as we hit terminal velocity before eventually opening up <laughs> our shoot and squirrel shooting our way over to it. Oh, wait, did you see that? It looks like another thing where we can skip ahead. Well, let's take a look. Here we are. Hello. Oh, hey, we didn't even mean to, but I think we found another person. Hey, are you in there? Wake up. I'm here to rescue you. I'm sure they're going to be thrilled. Oh, blacksmith guy. I have a new friend for you. How would you like a cellmate? That's the spirit. First off, let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Just give me a second. I need to sculpt the earth. And now it's summoning time. Good. Perfect. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hold on. Don't move. We're not done yet. Can I just add this stuff right on top of you? Yes, yes, I sure can. Well, no sense in stopping there. This is exactly what I was hoping for. How you doing down there, slugger? Aren't you glad I woke you up? I know I feel good about this. Oh, well, you know what? I'm getting sleepy. And look at that. It's <laughs> almost dark out life. in about six hours. And I've got to set up a new bed. It's nothing personal. Oh, there we go. Uh, found uh, a spot. <laughs> and place. Uh, I think I'm going to like this setup. And I'm sure our new companions all agree. Well, this has been all sorts of fun. And obviously looking out at the world, there's still plenty <laughs> left to do. So let me know in the glitz. comments if you want to see more of this one. So I hope you had fun. I know I did. We can all see oh, what's about to happen. Oh, my fucking God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Josh will spend hours doing the most insane stuff, but will draw the line at reading. <laughs> yep, yep.